We all got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Jeremy Robinson says he's been single for the past six months. Says he and Tamar are trying to figure out what it means to be friends again. I initially was going to take the high road in this situation and not say anything. But the reality is I cannot keep getting attacked. My character can't keep getting attacked. I can't keep being thrown under the bus because someone can't control their anxiety. And someone can't control these delusional thoughts about things that aren't real. I, I am in no way wanting to attack anybody. My purpose in, in my life has always been to protect. I haven't ran the social media every time something happened to me in that relationship. Just trust me with all the receipts and all the things that have happened. I could have, but I. When men say receipts, it is. I chose to do what a real man does, and that is protect the person that I've been with. In this situation, I'll be very clear. I've been single for the last six months. You know, I initially was going to take the high road in this situation and not say anything. But the reality, we have been trying to identify what that looks like, closing one <laughs> chapter and figuring out what it's like to be friends again. I've been very specific about my boundaries. I've been very specific about where we stand as friends. Go date anybody you want. I'm going to date when I'm ready. I am emotionally unavailable to you and I'm physically unavailable to you. Now, birthday comes up, plans are put in place. Of course, I want someone that I consider to be family to be involved in that because if anybody knows her, she is big on birthdays. I don't lead people on. I'm very direct. Listen, if, if anything that you're doing or that you want to do comes with an agenda, I don't want to be involved in it at all. I don't want you to be involved in my birthday plans. I don't want you to come to Turks and Caicos. This is not a wreck. We have been trying to conciliation time. Whatever you decide you're doing is because we're friends and because I'm still being involved in my son's life. I still would love for you to have a relationship with my children but not to the extent that you make up these stories that aren't real. I went to New Orleans. I booked my room at Four Seasons on booking.com and didn't realize that the card I'm using, which also ends in the same three last numbers, was tied to something that we booked several months ago. Oh, my God. Oh, I want y'all. I've seen some of this, but I want y'all to watch it. No harm, no foul. We're talking $900. Stop it. Ooh. While I'm in New Orleans for a funeral, my really good 25 plus year friend who passed away, I spent time with his family. I extended my stay because I needed time to reset. So I get a call yesterday. Hey, did you stay at Four Seasons? Yeah, I did. Uh, in fact, I extended. I gave them my conciliation time. Whatever you decide you're doing is because we're friends and because I'm still being involved in my son's life card and everything's good. Why? What's up? Oh, well, I got a call about some chick who used my card at Four Seasons. I said, that's not possible. This is funny. Ha ha ha. What, what are you talking about? Well, I thought we can friends. We can talk about it. But this is laughable. I didn't stay with anybody at the Four Seasons. I'm not seeing anybody. Didn't wasn't on a date. None of that. If I was. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now. So he went on a trip by himself. He say, even if he didn't, he's the one who had access to the card. So she would only know that he was the one who used it. Remember, he said, this is $900. Relax. You better run me my money. But anyway, um, so she got it in her mind that they, uh, or that he went with somebody else. But no proof, no appointment or nothing. Okay, got it. You're my friend. What do I have to hide about that? Um, I'll just say cooler heads didn't prevail. And next thing you know, I'm on her story and I'm being accused of things which are just blatantly not true. Um, 
I have never led Tamar Braxton on. I never will, nor will I. There are people, hate the name drop, but hey, Carlos King, you got me involved in this. You're part of the reason why we became friends. Um, but I've been very clear about my boundaries. I've been very clear about wanting to have a friendship, but not with each other on on their stories and call each other out on stuff. Like, look, if there was a mix up with the card because of booking.com, yo, that's a quick fix. It's already taken care of. I've already contacted Four Seasons and they've already issued a refund and they charged my card. It's that simple. Where did this random woman come in that you called a tramp? Uh, calling her a tramp is hilarious. Um, it, If he did go on a trip, with Shawty, that ain't none of her business if they not together. Somebody I became friends with on Instagram like maybe three days ago. It's just a reach and I'm tired. And what, he, she picked a random woman to fuck with? Tired of having to stay quiet and not defend myself. Yo, mental health is real and <laughs> I understand how sometimes anxiety can get the best of us. But you just don't go on social media and start attacking somebody you say that you love, that you care for as a friend, and, and then you post pictures of you and my daughters together, but then you're throwing their dad under the bus. It's not cool, man. And uh, the unfortunate reality is I thought that I could be friends uh, and try to maintain each other on on their story, some type of friendship, but I, I, that relationship is done. And I didn't want to come out and, like six months ago and be like, hey, I'm single again, because then people are like, oh, you're sassy. What? This is the reason why I did it last time, because of this assumption that I'm leading somebody on and that I'm cheating. I have never cheated in my life. Find a woman yeah. that will tell you I cheated on her. I'm not successful because I cheat. When I'm committed, I'm completely committed. Now, I'm not gonna go there. There's a lot more I could talk about. I'm not gonna do it, because this isn't about revenge. This is about saying, hey, wait a minute. This shouldn't have happened. Picking up the phone and talking calmly and saying, hey, Jay, I got charged in my card. You stayed at Four Seasons. OK, cool. But then you had to find a, a random narrative to go with it. It's it's messed up. And, and the truth is now there's potential defamation behind it because I don't even know this person. Never met her in my life. Never. Oh, shit. Not saying defamation. I mean, I had a DM some type of friendship. Isn't he a lawyer? With her. Again, here I am defending myself because of all of these assumptions and all these internet bullies who don't have a clue, not one thing, of t they don't know nothing about me with her. Again, here I am. No, he's saying that she might have a potential defamation situation because she is being defamed, is what he's saying. And you, since he's a lawyer, he probably take the case but also tamar gotta relax <clears throat> y'all mental health is absolutely real because um baby life be lifing so some people <laughs> you been though okay i'm a thawed individual but when I'm happy, I'm happy. Life is great. Okay. Tamar, I just. Y'all see how that man look. Okay. Let, let me go back to this. Yeah. Look at him. Defending myself. I think that he's a nice, clean cut looking brother. It has nothing to do with him being white. I wouldn't give a damn if he was black. I wouldn't give a damn if he was light skin, purple or in between. Okay, I don't care. Nice, clean cut looking brother. That seems as if he may got some common sense. Now, Tamar, you're stressed and it shows. Uh, we gonna listen. I don't know who or what to believe yet. Normally when a woman come out and say something after the fact, you always be right but it seemed like he was being honest hey everybody i know i said that i will not be speaking out um anymore but people be waiting for you to speak out so they can 
figure out what the hell they're going to say and how they're going to look because everybody knows that that's what that person cares about. Who is people? Huh? Hey, Mar, you speak out more to him. Okay, I digress. And I just want to be very clear on nobody stopped the relationship with me. I stopped the relationship with them. I blocked that person. I blocked that person on social media. Um, and I only called that person to find out about my credit card being used. Now, everybody knows that let's not play stupid, okay? I don't go to bookings.com. I don't even really kind of know, you know, what that is or what's, what's that about, right? I use my physical card. If I do um, reservations, it's through, I have a touring company, so we have our own travel agency. And so I, I'll go through that or I'll go through. She takes anxiety medicine? Through, um, <coughs> I didn't know that. My American Express, right? So Where she I is stressed. Use my car. So we're not going to pretend that, oh, yeah. And yeah, so I'm not going to pretend like, oh, yeah, um, they got our credit cards mixed up because I thought you were single six months ago. We went. So which one? Which one we doing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, just here's the thing for me about guys. Guys, when 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 things come out about men, they always say, "Oh, the woman is delusional. Oh, we wasn't together. Oh, I wasn't leading nobody on. And oh, they did the things on their own." Now, come on, how many times have we heard that story? And so I don't even know why we're trying to perpetuate that storyline today listen i'm for i'm in my 40s and i come on i've had my fair share of relationships and you know my dealings with men and you know with me having like male i ain't gonna lie i've only seen her in two relationships i don't know who the other guy friends i hear a lot of stuff i've been around the world and i yeah yeah okay so i've heard it all so we're not going to sit here and pretend that anybody is not going to drop a bag on a man or go to a, a city like turks and caicos if there was not if you didn't feel that there was a chance of reconciliation, and let's just be clear, I didn't ask myself. I didn't ask myself to no birthday parties. This person told me right over here at the St. Regis, I want you to be a part of my birthday. Now, if you're seeing this, this, that, and the other, why you want me to come? Now, y'all got to realize, now the man didn't say the status of our relationship. I'm not going to lie. She sound really manic. Maybe because she's upset. Because when I get upset, I, I'm very manic. Um, But like, we can't keep up with the story, baby, because I'm lost. Relationship. At that time, we were very much married. Very much married. So I am thinking that you know, I am pouring to my marriage that is troubled, that, you know, I want because I love my kids. You know, I love, I love my family. I love you. You know that. You you just said you love me. So now all of a sudden, now we not. Okay. So I'm pretending and I'm delusional and I made all of this stuff up. Okay. Now, I don't have to buy no man. I know who I am. I know the kind of money I make. I know the status of my life. I don't have to buy no man. But if I'm pouring into my relationship, <laughs> pouring into someone that I w want to rekindle something with because this is not my boyfriend, I'm wrong for that. Oh, and I'm on my... I don't have to buy no man. But if I'm pouring into my relationship, pouring into someone that I w want to rekindle something with because this is not my boyfriend... I'm wrong for that. Oh, and I'm on my. I don't have to buy no man. But if I'm pouring into my relationship, pouring into someone that I want to rekindle something with because this is not my boyfriend. I'm wrong for that. Oh, and I'm what does that have to do with the task at hand? I'm on my own for that. And not you saying, oh, when your birthday come around, I'm a wop, 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 woop, woop. Like I had absolutely no idea to feel like I was in this by myself. You know what I'm saying? Like people have seen us out. People have seen us at your favorite restaurant. Yes, you have been, we have been quote unquote living apart. And, and I guess you want to say single where we can, you know, date other people and see what's out there. But you clearly told me you wasn't with nobody. You clearly told me that you, you are emotionally unavailable and you just hitting wop, wop, and woop, woop. And my whole thing, and let's not make it like, Oh, I got men. 
I'm sorry, we keep being cut up. <clears throat> I can't lie. You can't be mad when a person is emotionally unavailable. That is a thing. And I think you 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 rather somebody tell you they emotionally unavailable than not. And I think you need to take it into consideration. I don't know if y'all know this, but a lot of us uh, as human beings nowadays are standing on business. It, it's not a, a situation of like, you know what? I'm just going to stick beside you and stay miserable. Baby, if I'm emotionally unavailable, if I can see that you emotionally un unavailable, it, you cannot give me what it is that I need. And then if I can't give myself what I need, I damn sure can't give you nothing. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. <laughs> like, I, I feel like he definitely expressed that because she's clearly stating that he did. This is important. And we're not going to make it like, oh, now Tamar got mental health issues. Now, y'all done seen this man. We I ain't gonna lie. He did kind of go low with the mental health issue. I'm gonna pretend that this man ain't been, has not been airing me out and embarrassing me for the past six months. Well, your crazy ass married this fool. I couldn't believe she married white chocolate. Now, if that was not an understanding between he and I, what... Y'all see me sit up here and take a bunch of L's and apologize and really try to work toward my marriage and try to, you know, fix shit. And, you know, because the truth is, y'all so much, I don't even really know. <laughs> you know? But just like he said, I'm not going to divulge everything, but I'm not going to let nobody sit up here and make it seem like I am delusional mm. and deranged. And you clearly said you don't want me. Y'all know when I found out I was getting a divorce and my divorce is going to be final on our trip to Turks and Caicos. <laughs> Didn't say that. <laughs> That's when I found out at the bar, I got an email. So let's not do that. Friend, don't do that. Girl, he was tired of her ass. <laughs> That's all I hear. I'm tired of your ass. Okay. Friend, don't do that. Damn. You know, and here is the thing. I didn't, like I said before, I did not mean to post that lady. It could have been, like, it was a casualty award. It could have been anybody. Cause like, No, Tamar, no. See, that's the part I'm not with her on. You cannot just be posting random people uh, calling it lemonade. You can't do that. He told me he was, he busting down, wop, wop, wop. He ain't even in nothing. You know what I'm saying? And I didn't say he cheated on me. I said you played in my face. Because the truth of the matter is that you were supposed to be here for me, to show up for me on Sunday. And you didn't do that. And just like I told him, like, well, this got to be a two-way street, boo. Like, we, we can't, I can't show up for you and you don't show up for me. That can't happen. And so you decided to extend your trip and didn't say anything to me. He's a grown ass man. Y'all not together. He divorced you already. Why did he have to tell you he was staying? I am confusion. Okay. In in New Orleans. <clears throat> and then I find out you you I didn't even say nothing to you. You know, I didn't even make it a big deal. I didn't even, you know, like this person is making it seem like I am off the rails. And I get why y'all is very believable. And people, every time I fall out with somebody, they always take that story. Now, oh, y'all see how she acting on her reality show? Well, not the past three reality shows. Tamar has grown up. And that's why I'm not going to let nobody speak on my mental health and make that an underlined issue and make it like I'm defaming somebody's character. Because the truth of the matter is y'all was following each other on all platforms and, and also, you know, responding on each other's pages. And the hotel told me. How did I know? This is not just a hotel mix-up. Because, no, I got charged. And now the hotel petty is hell for that. The problem was... I would sue the hotel. ...that I asked you, uh, I called you very calm, very... Now, let me know if hotel policies have changed or not. They will ask you, oh, you want? would you like to use the card on file? Or is there another card? Y'all, I'm not trying to make this a big deal. I swear, it's... it's not about... Y'all, it's a thousand dollars. It's not... It's not... You know, 
make or break. It's the point. The point is, is that you wanted me to sit back and let you not only use my card. Let's just say it's a mix up. Okay, fine. But now it's different because you're using my card for your extracurricular activities. And let me just keep it gangsta. I wouldn't even trip on that. You know? Why wouldn't you trip on that? You know what I'm saying? Why, why? It's not that serious. Me and your relationship status has changed the way I see you have changed. You know what I'm saying? Just like you outside, baby, I'm outside too. Like, let's stop pretending like you is the last of the Mohicans. You are not. You know what I'm saying? It's just not like, oh, I'm addicted to the white meat. Like, it was fine for what I had, but okay. It ain't giving that. And, I, and, and the truth is, I, I put too much on it because we, are, we were married. And I take my vows serious, and I thought that you did too. And so the truth is I was waiting for you to come around like a wife because all I know how to be is a wife. I was married to Vince and that didn't work out. And I, I got with D and we were getting married and I got with you and we got married. And, 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 and I married you after you ate somebody, you know, whole booty, boo, whole booty sandwich. I like to meet Tamar and a good wife. You don't sound like a good wife at all to me. Then you decided to marry a nigga who ate out your enemy booty. He ate out your enemy booty. And the problem that I have with that is you probably went over there and was kissing on them white chocolate lips. After you knew he was up in uh, Tommy Booty. And, and, and that's the problem that I have here, Tamar. See, you, you don't. Come on now. You ain't got to settle for less. And, 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 and going back to him when he eating people booties. You know what I'm saying? I just. So let's not talk about why and what happened before then, okay? Don't make it seem like I'm a bad person. Don't make it seem like I didn't put up with a lot. Don't make it seem like, oh, I've been so gracious to her. And, you know, I have been giving grace and she's a da da ba da ba da ta da wa wa No, baby. Don't do that. We have given grace to each other. And I hate that I posted that last night for that 10 seconds that I posted and now that it's a frenzy today. But the simple fact of the matter is that I tried to call you and I tried to talk to you and you were so nasty to me. And at the end of the conversation, mm -hmm. you're going to tell me to go take my meds. Something that nobody else in the world knew and something that you tried to weaponize against me. Are you saying that people who take mental medication or anxiety medication, they are not stable? I would hate for you to say that as a lawyer. Don't do that. Uh-oh. The fact of the matter is, I only came back to say this. Um, I'm not delusional. I am not crazy. I don't have to throw myself on a man. And yes, we have been estranged for six months and we everything was just final on Friday. So let's not and I'm going to say this in closing because I don't want to say too much. I've, I've probably already said too much, but my feelings are, are hurt because everybody is making it seem like I am crashing out over this person and I'm not. Emma, we all have had our fair share of crash outs. Hell, I crashed out the other day. Completely crashed out. And uh, I know for a fact that I crashed out, and I can admit that I crashed out. Life is life around this motherfucker. And I don't know about y'all, but we all trying to keep all the wires together in, 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 in these here brains. You get what I'm saying? Trying our best to keep the wires together. But what you can't do. 
is come on 2K25 Internet today because today is 2K25 Internet. You cannot come to 2K25 Internet today, okay, and say that you are not crashing out over this man. You have went from subject to subject to subject in this particular uh, situation. And quite frankly, Tamar, I can't keep up with what the problem really is. Also, booking.com is something that everybody uh, uses. So I, I just, maybe he got your car. My thing is, did he take a picture of the car? I mean, him being a lawyer, he would absolutely get debarred for stealing. You get what I'm saying? So I just, he had to come out and protect himself because you can't just be out here saying lawyers is out here stealing. Okay. And the problem also is Tamar, when did the hotel call you and say, Hey, white chocolate up here with another fwop. Or when you found out that he used your car, did you, did, did the hotel say, Oh yeah, white chocolate. He was with such and such. They was doing it right here on the counter. Like Tamar, how do you know? That they are a thing, were a thing, whatever. And then come to find out, you named the wrong woman. <laughs> he never even met her. You know, in person, I guess. Just, it's a lot that's not. And when you crash out, this is what you look like on the internet. And that's why I've learned to stop crashing out on the internet. Not saying it won't ever happen again, but what I'm saying is I'm trying my best not to come to the internet because we look like this. Just stupid as fuck. This is how she looked right after she made that lying ass statement. I am not crashing. Don't be coming over here acting like I'm over here crashing out over him. Well, Tamar, that's just not true. You are, okay? I know what a crash out look like. Um, I went ham simply because, because of, of your disrespect. And the truth is I should have gone ham a long time ain't nothing ago. nothing wrong with that. And I did it because... Uh, disrespect make you crash out. I am one of one to crash out over some disrespect. D -d 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 yeah. That's why you crashed out, Tamar. I never fight it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm sure that people have been here before when you're in love with a person who aren't in love with you back. And that was my case, but I didn't realize it until Turks and Caicos. I had no idea until Turks and Caicos. Mm -hmm. I knew that we had problems. I knew that, you know, things wasn't working. Yeah, unwarranted crash out. I, I had an unwarranted crash out the other day. And when that motherfucker is unwarranted, that is one dangerous bitch. One thing about crashing out today is so fucked up because all the shit that you've put to the side and I'm going to just tuck it in and roll it over and put it under. And you do that to the point where you snap. So, and then it's also hard to speak on every little thing because that also is an issue as well. Communication is so fucked up in this world today. Um, it's, it's just, it's bad. But crashing out is absolutely happening. You explode and can't even stop it till it's over. I'm telling you. The shit is so bad. And some things that we, we just simply just cannot. Bro, I guarantee Funny Mike got that penthouse. First of all, he had or had passed a building that he was working in. Um, Funny Mike Studios or something. I don't know if he still got that. But sometimes... You need your own space. You, you really, really badly. Some of us need to operate alone, especially working alone, especially if you're a creator and it's just, it's a, it's a sticky thing to be a creator today, man. That we loved each other because we always <sighs> said that we did. And, um, I, I, I honestly feel like it's been like that forever. That's why people have studios to go to. Okay. That's why people have offices to go to. I just, being a content creator, though, you can't go everywhere. Like, you got to have your own penthouse, got to have your own apartment. Um, I can't go live in an office. 
without them being like, hey, yo, <laughs> you a little loud. You know what I'm saying? That actually happened before. So it's like, yeah, personal space is absolutely needed, period, for everybody, everybody. I always felt like, you know, with love, you can, that is a ground zero for you to rebuild. And so now that you feel like I have aired you out, <laughs> like you have aired me out for months and embarrassed me for months, you know, oh, now we ain't going to be friends. Well, that option is not even open to you because I'm the one who blocked you a few days ago. I'm the one who cut off social media and social media and all communication with you. So let's stop perpetuating that. Yes, you are the one who filed for divorce because you were the lawyer. We, you and I as a couple decided that. We don't make it seem like, oh, I got to leave, da, 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 because we're not even going to go there. So stop <laughs> doing that. And I told, my, I told my daughter that I would not talk about her dad. But in the same interim, I hope she had the same conversation with you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, maybe she didn't have the daughter. Maybe that's some, like, adopted you. That you cannot talk about me <clears throat> and make it look like I'm deranged and crazy. Now, I know you love Logan. I know you know beyond a shadow of a doubt what your children means to me. And most of the reason why I was trying to hold together our union. But what I'm not going to do, Jay, is feel like I got used. Because I did. Of course, I do a lot for a lot of people. You know, and you know I do a lot for a lot of people, financially, gift-wise, whatever. I, that's just my nature. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that I was, oh, dropping a whole bag on you and now we're going to get back together. No. I didn't think that. But did I feel a certain kind of way when you was nasty with me and you used my car for, for entertaining some... And I said tramp because that you the one who said that's not your woman. You're the one who said that you you can't you hitting them off. You you hit the jump offs and they, they don't mean nothing to you. And you know it's it's just sex. You told me that. So if the defamation that is you giving me the information, hello. And and y'all was following it and talking to each other way more than three days ago, Jr. Don't do that. Let's stop making it like I'm trying to be crazy because I don't want this for us. Now, at a certain amount of time, maybe a year, 19 years, 30 years, we could talk. But, you know. Yeah. Take my, we ain't got that many summers left now. You're 40. <laughs> they ain't about to wait till 70 to talk to them. That's a no for me, dog. And it has to be a no for me because I have to start loving me. And clearly, you know, all the work that I'm doing, you know, I'm definitely skipping over loving me because I felt like I loved you. And I, I love now, I'm with this. The, 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 she made the most sense with this right here. Like, I'm not going to lie, worrying about other things going on in your family, your relationship, whatever the fuck. Literally takes you away from your own damn self. Hence is why y'all talking to me about um, thyroids and all of that. Doctor, man, I got to work to take care of everybody, but I'm not taking care of me and I'm starting to feel it. So, you know, it's just like, I I'm with her when she right on that. What we could have been and what we were more than myself. And I am so that sorry, you know, to annoying. everybody out there that I, you know, put out this post last night i was praying to god that it didn't go viral i was praying to god that it didn't you know that nobody caught it i was you know praying to god because i knew that you know it wasn't necessarily what i wanted to do it was an emotional thing but i mean sometimes when you have been disrespected to the level that i have been disrespected you from the situation out. publicly <laughs> it'd be too much yeah you know and um i i apologize to everybody that was hurt behind it especially to my kids that I love so much. Um, and um, I'm never going to keep you away from your son. I'm never going to, and I hope that you don't keep me away from my kids. But, you know, I just feel like the way that you try to twist this story is unforgivable and sad. Because, you know, I came to you calmly Ooh, and nice I was trying to be there for after not speaking to you. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to be selfish. You what yeah, absolutely. With the card. And this could have been all. I ain't going to lie, being selfless don't do nothing but hurt your ass. I mean, I, I have literally experienced that for years, and I don't even know why the fuck. I just, you just can't control how your heart posture is, I guess. Um, but hell, one thing you can do is love you more. Shit. <laughs> so, yeah. Love you more, guys. I'll avoid it, but you're nasty. 
and I, every woman that's gotten online has said, no stop, appreciate the reason, bro. Really the same thing. Like, you're nasty. I you're not nice. Face. And I didn't do anything clapping, to you. Clapping, and I was clapping. I wasn't trying to be in your business. And you know, man, you don't even have that relationship. Um, but I said you played in my face and I meant that. And you have been playing in my face for a while now. And I'm sorry that I snapped online. Um, and I'm sorry this is where we are, but we can wrap this up because I have nothing else to say. Um, <sighs> and I'm going actually about to go and film something, you know, for a while. And so I won't even be here. So everybody go and enjoy what y'all enjoy. And I'm taking everybody out the chat. And once again, I apologize, you know, to everybody. I'm it, glad everybody know. Well, some people know now that they put us in the chat. But. It was an emotional 10, 15, 30 second post. And um, this is what happens, you know, when families fall apart. And this is what happens when people are hurt. And this is what happens when, you know, um, people are, you know, fall out of love. And, um, I, but I'm in the same token, I'm not going to let anybody weaponize me about my mental health journey, it's something that I'm really proud of and that I worked really, really, really hard on. Like we have to really normalize not doing that to people. We also need to normalize that we need to continue to work on our mental health. Literally. I realized the other day, uh, yeah, um, I have to continue to work on my mental health cause you can be fine. Literally. And, uh, unwarranted trigger. Snap, crash out, straight up. So it's okay to work hard. I've been working so hard on me and this, this, and this. Yeah, that's cute. Until the next trigger come along and then you snap. And then the next trigger come along and you snap. And we're going to be a forever working process on ourselves. And taking a jab at them when that's all you have left because, you know, this could have all been avoided. Um, I snap when you said take your meds. Like... Oh. <laughs> and anybody with, you know, mental health issues that really take their mental health seriously know that that is a, whoo, that's a lot. It's like an alcoholic and you say, go take a drink. Eek. But anyway, uh, I promise this is it because it's gone way too long that I wanted it. So I just wish everybody well. God bless y'all. Good night. Um, I'm going to continue working on me. And I know y'all probably really tired of me right now. And <laughs> I'm tired of myself. <laughs> I'm tired of this always being a thing. And, um, yeah, it's just got to be another way than coming to social media. And you guys are absolutely right. Man, come so, on. Um, and the people that have We can't help you. I'm going to tell you that right now. I had to learn that the last time with the social media shit. Nah. Well, it depends if other people have gone through it, but that's what I got live for. But they just can't help you have been patient with me and riding along with me. I appreciate y'all. And I'm sorry I keep letting y'all down, but I'm human. And um, after my sister's death, the last thing I wanted to go through was a, a divorce. And um, that's it. All right, well, I'm sure I will find y'all soon and love will find me soon. And But for right now, I'm going to be... What are you still looking for love for? No. Let it go. <laughs> Focusing on work and my baby and I love y'all. Have a good day. Bye. I don't feel like everybody need love uh, right now. Everybody do not need love right now. First of all, all the looking for it is the problem. You're just out there looking for it. And, uh-uh. <laughs> Hell no. I, I definitely established today, especially after my little crash out. Uh-uh. Uh, uh. All right. All right. Let me reel this back in. I need to get my shit together if I lose what I've um, worked my ass off for. So it's more so like, all right, it's time to, you know, get my shit together on that end. And, and sometimes that's just what we got to do. Okay? Um, them love crash eyes ain't no joke. Oh, God. Oh, God. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.